Hey Flash fans, this is Caroline and welcome to another video here at Wild Moon Lacquer. And in today's video, we are going over at least part one of my fall nail polish rack. Now, this has been a long time coming. I've been excited about this for, well, all of this year. Um, however, the last couple of weeks, things have sort of gotten out of hand as far as my timing goes. So I haven't gotten the chance to film these yet for you, but I have a new setup. I'm now up off the floor. I have a desk now with my setup here on it. Let me know what you think. If you like the changes, I definitely like the fall feels for this season anyways. And yeah, let me know down below if you have any tweaks. I know right now my lighting might not be the best, but we'll see how that goes. In any case, we're going to do part one of my fall nail polish rack. I pulled just a few of the kind of standout ones to me. There are so many. My fall rack is enormous. <laughs> you may have heard me mention that before. I've been collecting nail polish for this season all year, starting actually last year, and I sort of missed the season <laughs> once I started collecting. But in any case, let's jump into the colors that I've pulled so far by Enchanted Polish. This one is called Gingerbread Opal Latte, and just look at this beautiful opalescent color. You have all of those beautiful fiery tones coming out, then you've got those beautiful greens and golds. Just beautiful. So the base color of this is, as the name would suggest, sort of this gingerbread brown. And I definitely don't wear these sort of colors all that frequently. I just am not drawn to them as much as I am, say, to the oranges for the fall season. However, because it has all of those beautiful fiery fall tones, I definitely think that this one is a beautiful standout polish for the fall season especially, and can't wait to try this one out. Just look at all of those beautiful fiery colors, kind of like a bonfire in a bottle. So that one's beautiful. That one is Enchanted Polishes Gingerbread Opal Latte. Then sticking with that sort of brown tone coloration family, this one is from China Glaze and it is called Choo Choo Choose You. And this one is a very unique polish as well. It is this sort of interesting coloration between a sort of beigey brown and almost a bluish purple tinge to it, which is really, really unique. Then you have that really neat contrasting shimmer to it. Right now, what you're mainly seeing is that sort of electric green to gold. And in person, the green is even more prominent than I'm seeing on camera. So definitely unique. This is one of those colors that I actually didn't think I was going to originally be keeping. I swatched it and I didn't really, didn't really like the color offhand. And it's probably because it, again, is sort of falling outside of my wheelhouse of colors that I am comfortable wearing but it is a very interesting and unique polish for sure. And I think the fall season is definitely time to pull out these sort of pruglies, if you will. And so this one again is China Glaze and this is Choo Choo Choose You. Then going into the berry tones of things, this first one is from Zoya. This one is called Stacy, and I love tones like this for the fall season, these beautiful rich berry tones. I do think on camera it might be coming across a little bit more on the burgundy side of things, but it's definitely a rich berry tone. It is a cream polish, and I think polishes like this make a beautiful vampy sort of nail for the fall. And then you can also add a glitter topper or a flaky topper, or add just a little bit of that topper on the tips of your nails to add sort of a fall French style manicure. So beautiful color here for sure. And again, that is Zoya Stacy. Next up is one from Native War Paints, and this one is called Distressed Denim. This one is such a beautiful and unique polish. It is in that sort of cross between a berry and a cranberry, and then you have that beautiful contrasting blue shimmer really unique. And again, I think this is just beautiful for the fall season. Definitely has that vampy feel to it. And that contrasting shimmer definitely stands out. I think that's going to look amazing on the nail. And then in some lightings, as you can see, you'll see mostly just that beautiful rich berry base, which I think is going to look absolutely gorgeous. And again, with colors like this, 
actually with almost all of these except for probably maybe like the flaky ones you can almost always do some really fun manicures like I've done here this is actually a layered topper manicure over a previous manicure and I just added some beautiful flaky toppers in layers and then a cream in between so that the flaky on top of that would stand out a little bit more and for fall I've been really loving those sort of manicures and I can't wait to do it with these sort of berry tones as well so again this one is native war paints and this was distressed denim then of course it's fall you have to have oranges <laughs> this one is one of my favorites and it is Zoya and it is autumn and this one is one that I still have yet to wear but it is a favorite for my fall rack because one it has the fall season name right there autumn I always refer to it as fall because my best friend's name is autumn so I feel a little strange calling a season by my friend's name but it is a beautiful beautiful polish look at those beautiful sort of rusty orange tones and then you have that beautiful gold shimmer in it and this is very, very multi-dimensional. It's not a multi-chrome necessarily. If it is, it's very slight, but it has enough of that beautiful color change in it that it's very beautiful on the nail. And I think this one is going to be a favorite for sure. So that one is Zoya Autumn. And up next, another orange is from China Glaze. And this one is called Pathological Liar Liar. And this one I'm really excited to try as well. This is a beautiful, beautiful, rich sort of coppery orange. And look at the beautiful scattered holographic in there. And you've also got this sort of golden shimmer popping out. I think this one is going to look really rich and beautiful on the nail. And that scattering of the holographic is going to add a little something special I think this one is going to be another favorite. I think I'm going to have a lot of fall favorites actually. So again, this one is Pathological Liar Liar from China Glaze. Just look at that rich tone. So pretty. Had to include another orange. I was trying to keep it in pairs of somewhat two, but had to include this one. This one is from Essie. This is one of my again favorites for the fall season that I have collected thus far and this one is called Bed Rock and Roll. Basically their entire collection from this um, I think it was the Bed Rock and Roll collection if I'm not mistaken was just beautiful. Different shades of these terracottas and oranges were absolutely gorgeous. I bought quite a few from this collection. This particular one is this lovely shade of this sort of rich cross between like a terracotta and a red like a wine red burgundy esque terracotta <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful and very very rich this sort of tone was one of the first fall polishes that i put on and i really like how it turns out on the skin tone i think it looks beautiful and people definitely were commenting about how fall appropriate the color was so beautiful beautiful color cannot wait to try this one and I think I will compare this one possibly to the first one that I did wear which was from Pure Ice and I think that was called In Vogue and just see how they compare they are similar but I don't think they're dupes in any case this one is one another I should say that I'm very excited to try and again that one was Essie's Bedrock and Roll Next is one from Bee's Knees Lacquer. This one is called G-Virus, and this is another color that I really like wearing in the fall. You'll see me talk about this type of color a lot, this sort of smoky, grayed out sort of mauve tone. Really, really am drawn to it. I have quite a few in this sort of color family. And this one from Bee's Knees is a beautiful, beautiful color in this family. It is, again, that sort of taupish, purpley, grayed out tone and this one is loaded with I believe either UP or maybe unicorn pea sibling and just look at that beautiful green to red to gold shift it's absolutely gorgeous I think it really stands out against this color and again on the nail this is going to wind up looking beautifully smoky oh yeah just cannot wait to try this one love tones like this so again, that one was Bee's Knees Lacquer G Virus. Up next is another one from Enchanted Polish. This one is called Icelandic Sky, and just look at that bottle shot. That is why I want to wear this one. Look at that gorgeous shift of that multi-chrome. 
You've got purple and emerald and blue and teal. Beautiful. So this one is a very rich sort of inky purpley blue definitely a sort of blurple color and then of course you have that beautiful multi-chrome shift in there that goes to that rich emerald you can see blue at certain angles more of that blue in the flash and of course that base is also going to shift and might change also depending on your skin tone but it's absolutely gorgeous i love multi-chromes they are definitely one of my favorite finishes and I love when you can see so many beautiful color changes in this. So this one is another one that I'm really excited to try. I think this one could be really fun to try stamping over, except I'm still sort of working on that. I might try to do maybe some nail art painting or something like that over it. But absolutely gorgeous from Enchanted Polish. That was Icelandic Sky. And another in that beautiful smoky purpley gray tone is one from Zoya. This one is called... Vesper and this one this was one that I was ultra excited about when I bought from Zoya they the swatches of this just were right up my alley they are that beautiful smoky tone and just to give you a little comparison to the bees knees it is definitely well obviously it's a cream so it is different and then of course the tone of it leans a little bit more towards the sort of denim blue by comparison but it is definitely a sort of mix between the smoky blues and smoky purples with that gray tone to it. And I really, really love the swatches that I saw of this. So again, for the fall season, I think this one just fits right in nicely. And again, that was by Zoya and that was called Vesper. Next is one from Never Enough Polish, and this one is called Bioluminescent Algae, and this one it was from Polish Pickup a while ago, and I think this one just falls so beautifully into the fall season. It is this sort of dark and mysterious deep charcoal gray, and then you have all of those beautiful, beautiful flakies in that bioluminescent color with those blues and greens and aquas in a bunch of different shades. And then she also put some beautiful scattered holographic in there for a beautiful rainbow effect. And again, the swatches of this were really, really beautiful. And I just think for the fall season, this is just a nice color to add in there for that beautiful dark shift on the nail. So love this one. This one is again, never enough polish bioluminescent algae. And last but not least in this little collection for the first video of fall polish is one from Contrary Polish, and this one is called Cocoon Galaxy. This was from Polish Pickup a while back. I do believe that she no longer makes polish, unfortunately, but this one was one of my must-haves for the month that this was in Polish Pickup. It is a beautiful magnetic polish, and the base is a beautiful sort of smoky blue-gray, almost like a slate blue-gray. And then you have that magnetic particle in there with a beautiful scattering of some micro glitters in there. And then as you can see on here, the magnetic effect is very subtle, but it's going to add a beautiful sort of dancing effect on the nail. I do think I did not have a top coat on this, so that will definitely make things pop. One of the things I'm definitely noticing is although I always use a top coat on my manicure, I haven't been adding top coats to my swatches and it definitely definitely makes a difference if you aren't using a top coat you're definitely doing yourself a slight disservice to your appreciation of your mani especially when you're doing things like this where you're layering polishes i often find that it just pulls it all together to add a beautiful shiny top coat on top it finishes it off pulls everything together nicely before you may be like yeah okay it looks nice you add that top coat it just mm, it, it finishes it beautifully. So I definitely think that this color would benefit from that top coat to sort of help smooth out everything and pull out that beautiful magnetic effect. But just look at that gorgeous, gorgeous color. Love this one. So that was again by Contrary Polish and this one was Cocoon Galaxy. So there you have it. That was part one of my fall nail polish rack. Well, let me know down below if you had any favorites in this little segment. And of course, feel free to also comment about the new setup here on my desk. Let me know if you like it, if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And let me know if you have any other colors that you've been enjoying this fall season so far. 
Make sure to like and subscribe for more nail polish videos here on my channel, and I'll see you next time.